everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Susan Timchak and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I'd like to welcome you here today. Today I thought I would share with you a card and we're going to make this card together because I kind of have an idea in my head but I don't have a sample yet made. So uh, the, we are using the Dandelion Wishes Stamp Set. It's item number 146747. You can find this in our annual 2018-2019 Stampin' Up! catalog and if you love this card you'll want to make sure to watch to the end because I am offering an online class using this stamp set so let's get started shall we all right let me put that aside and um, last month we had this let me just grab the paper pack we had this fabulous special of our designer series paper when you bought three you got one for free so I have an abundance of designer series paper so I thought I would use this is the best route DSP and um, I got it because I, I thought it was interesting and it it does have some really cool papers with it um, bicycles are a big thing so I thought that was cute and airplanes so if you're doing any vacationing this year or whatnot you might want to um, go ahead and add this to your next order because it's perfect for that well unfortunately sorry um, I'm not going to be doing any traveling or any vacationing because I had two weeks when I was recuperating with my foot surgery and that was my vacation so I thought well how can I incorporate this paper not using it for a vacation type thing so dandelion wishes to the rescue so I have a piece of um, the designer series paper and this one has just a very subtle background just with little dots on it and I have this cut um, well, well we'll measure it later but I have it cut down like to a little scant um, four and four by five and a quarter but it's a little bit scant than that so and I'll, I'll explain that what I mean later so I thought let's do a little embossing embossing was the first thing that I learned going to a Stampin' Up! workshop many many years ago and I was like oh you know it's just one of those things still excites me so before I continue I'm using the craft Stampin' pad this is the whisper white now when you receive this whisper white ink pad let me put it here so you can see it you'll um, have the ink pad and it won't have any ink in it and there'll be a um, we call these re-inkers so what you'll want to do and I do recommend every time you're going to use it to kind of you know make sure you have enough ink on your ink pad just squeeze this little bottle let me just squeeze a little bit out and just kind of spread it with the tip of the refill bottle if you have a bone folder you can go ahead and um, lock that into place. I don't have that locked. You can go ahead and use your bone folder and just spread it like as though you were icing a cake. And this just makes sure that your ink is, um, you know, well, your ink pad is well inked because this is a um, pigment ink. So you can use it for your embossing. So I'm using my Stamparatus and I already decided this is where I want my little dandelions to go. So a great tip for this is take your your stamp set and put that underneath here. That gives you a little bit of leverage so it's, you know, you're not worrying about it, that you're going to crack it off or, you know, you want to make sure you're going to get a nice even coverage. And with this white ink pad, I'm going to say light kisses. Don't smush it because it's a different type of ink pad than our um, dye-based inks. So let's go ahead and oh I did great now you don't even have to emboss it if you don't want to but um, yes I want to okay so I'm going to remove this plate put that aside and I'm going to bring in my other plate because this um, stamparatus comes with two different plates for placement okay so I'm going to do this one this is going to be my saying and again Go ahead and put your stamp set underneath that to give you some leverage and ink that up and come on back. And I mean, you have to work kind of quickly with the, um, oh, that looks nice. With, oh, how about something red on there? Mm, that's okay. 
You have to work a little bit quickly because of the pigment ink, but um, you know it it does stay wet a little bit longer than our dye base. And I'm just going to put this little piece of paper in here and put this aside until we're all done. Then I'll I'll show you how to clean it. Oh, and there's my little magnet. Okay, so here we are with this. So, um, unfortunately, we still we don't sell this little tray thing anymore, but it was a great tool to use. But you can use a piece of cardstock if you don't have one of these trays from the past. This is a stamping embossing powder, and it's the white powder. I'm just going to sprinkle this on, and don't worry, sprinkle away. Because you want to make sure you have good coverage. Kind of give it a little tap 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 and if you have any little bit of flyaways you'll want to make sure you remove that and um, that looks good to me so let's get that out of our way I'm going to bring in my heat tool now this is going to get a little bit loud so just bear with me it has two settings on it a low setting if you just need to dry something and a high setting for embossing and it takes a little bit to heat up but once it heats, whoop, once it heats up you'll be able to see this switch just right before your eyes you'll be able there we go we're embossing you do want to make sure you keep your fingers out of the way so can you see the difference all right let's go ahead and do our little dandelion here and i'm not a fan of dandelions when they're in my yard but if they're a stamp set i can deal with that all right here we go Make sure it's all nice and shiny. And that works for me. All right. So there we are. Sending well wishes your way. I love this set because it has cute little images. It also has some cute sayings. Wishes for a lifetime of love and happiness. I made a wish and you came true. And of course the sending well wishes your way. So you can use this for weddings and many other types of cards. So I'm just gibbering because I'm giving it some time to um, go ahead and set up. It will take about a minute or so. All right, so let's measure this. So this is, like I said, five and a little scant. It's in between the quarter and the five, whatever you want to call that. Um, the quarter and the five, oh, uh, let's see, I don't know, one eighth maybe that is? And then the same here. Um, this is also uh, scant before the four. <laughs> That's how I measure. I'm not good at measuring. I also took another piece of the DSP from that same paper pack, this little gray piece, and again, that's a little scant too. My radio, I think I left it on, and it's kind of doing some little, well, it's trying to talk to me. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, and I have this like kind of resting in my ribbon like this so that the glue comes to the tip but I'm seeing that that is not working so well let me do a little bit squeeze hold on apparently I'm gonna need to refill let me see that one nope that one doesn't have much in it either okay let's just go to plan B I've got some glue dots right here. I got two desks in my room here. So I kind of have one desk for creating, one desk for videotaping. So I'm just going to use my glue dots because we know they work well. And okay, I'm going to layer this onto here. So my glue is over on my other desk. Okay, that looks good. Yep. So then we have this beautiful tool ribbon, and I thought this would be pretty to accent um, onto here. And I'm going to see, give this a try if it's going to cooperate with me. Maybe my little tip is clogged. I don't know. But, come on. No, I don't want to come out. Hold on a second. Oh my goodness. Why does this always seem to happen to me? to get my other glue out and I don't hope I don't run out of time because 
I am not being a Girl Scout today and being properly prepared. All right, here we go. Snail to the rescue. Oh dear, open it up, Susan. All right. Okay, so let's put a little bit of ribbon down here at the bottom. And I can remember my snips. I was just checking my time, sorry. Okay, and there's some sort of little bug flying. Ugh. Those little measly bugs, they kind of, um, I don't know if they feel the heat of the light on. I mean, I don't know why they would want heat, but, um, I mean, it's you know, hot here. So here I layered it onto a piece of Whisper White, and then I have some um, uh, Blueberry Bushel, which coordinates beautifully. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of that onto here. There we are. And you will have to be put over there for not cooperating. And let's just take our little ribbon. And everybody worries about making bows and things. So we're just going to slip this underneath. And we're going to make it like a little faux bow. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright, and just tie that kind of like a little knot. And trim that off with our paper snips. There we go. That looks good. Now for my inside, let's see. Um, let me see my blueberry bushel stamp set. And do you love our new ink pads? How well they open. Look at that. It's like, um, reminds me of a little flip phone if you're, you know, old enough to, um, you know, remember those. I know I'm showing my age with that. And I'm just going to grab a block here. So um, add a little bit of dandelions there in the corner. And what saying do we want? Send my wishes your way. Um, well, how about wishes for a lifetime of happiness? That sounds good to me. I'll just test it. Yeah, good thing I did. There we, oh, there we are. Let's close that up. And make sure when you're placing an order to go ahead and add some ink to that. So I'm kind of going with the would you like ink with that promotion um, to make sure you don't forget when you order your stamps and your paper to always add ink. And another tidbit I want to tell you about that is if you're purchasing the ink pad, be sure to get the refill at the same time because then you won't have to worry about, you know, in the middle of the night when your ink pad sort of, you know, bums out on you. And I'm just looking. I'm thinking it needs another little, a little bling. Let me see. Or something, or maybe some pearls. Let's see what's available here in my little stash. Okay, how about some pearls? Let's just add a few little pearls. And then we'll be good to go. So, purchase the reinker when you purchase your ink pad, and then you're good to go, and you don't have to worry when you notice that it's kind of running out of ink. And, um, you know, you need a little help with it. All right, I am just under my 15 minutes. Phew, I did good. So um, there is that. Now let me show you quickly. I have one minute left. These are the cards that you will create with my August, let me move that out of the way, 2018 online card class. So if you're interested in that, you want more information, be, for, be sure to email me at stampandsuecreates at gmail.com and I could forward to you all the information. It will include the stamp set and it will also include a package of these um, self-adhesive sequins too in your kit. And I'll send you all the materials needed absolutely free when you purchase the online kit. 
All right, everyone, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a super stampin' day, and I will see you all.